Alright guys, it's your girl Christina Carmel and welcome back to the Carmel Show. I know I have not done videos in a long time, but we back. Now before I get started, I just want to make sure that everybody comments, likes and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's so important. Now the reason I'm doing this video today is literally just because I feel like this video is needed and I feel like I'm explaining myself all the time saying the same thing so I thought why not just put it in a video which makes so much more sense so if some of you may or may not know I have been doing a series and it's called play my music now play my music is literally just a couple IGs I've been doing with a lot of upcoming artists um, where we play their music well they perform their music we listen um, and yeah we take it from there the winner uh, from each series gets their music played on radio um, my radio station anyway and then yeah we just take it from there but I think before I would say that I was starting to see a lot of patterns when it came to upcoming artists so I felt like you know what let me just do a video and kind of give some tips on things to kind of do and things that people in the industry kind of look out for when it comes to upcoming artists so obviously play my music is I want to be heard can you play my music can you repost my music and then you go onto the person's page or you look at the person's artistry and it's not all the way there okay so I'm just gonna give like five five to six tips on kind of things to kind of do to kind of improve and get your music out there so number one number one I think the biggest thing for me um, when I get sent music is I always go to your page I always 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 go to your social media page um, and I look at what is on there essentially like what is on there what type of artist are you and a lot of the time oh my god a lot of the time there's nothing on there how can you be an artist and have nothing on your page it doesn't make no sense so I think for me what I look for is your artistry, what type of music you have, what, what, how, are you singing live, are you singing, like, what, what, what are we doing? So, I think tip number one is make sure that your page has some kind of content on it that associates with you as an artist. So I always say to people, like, do some live performances, like, just do some, get a camera, get your phone, and just sing on there. Short clip, two minutes of you singing so that people get a sense of what you sound like. Music, when people want to invest in your music, it's an investment. It's called music business for a reason. People need to see, people will see you as an investment. So if people feel like they cannot invest in you or you're not a, a, an investment that will make a return, people are not going to invest in you. So people want to see their investment. So... I would say people want to know what you sound like so have a couple clips here and there of you singing um, in your room or whatever or there is even like apps where you can sing along to things and people can get a sound of your voice let people see you working let people see you hustling so one is definitely have some musical content on your page of you performing that is a must 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 um, two make sure that your Instagram, and this kind of ties in with number one, but make sure that your Instagram page ties in with what you say you do. So if you say you're an artist, make sure that it's all musical stuff on there. We don't want to see pictures of you in Barbados, honey. Like, I ain't nobody got time for that. Like, we don't want to see you popping bottles and that is a no-no and I tell you now I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of like big people in the industry who are like if they see that stuff they're clicking right off <laughs> and that is your opportunity wasted that is your opportunity gone someone's come on your page and has not been interested and they've gone so definitely wipe all your stuff off you don't have to you can keep the stuff at the bottom but make sure that 
if you've decided that music is what you want to do, make sure that the content moving up is all just musical stuff, you performing, you doing, like, you in the studio, pictures of you in the studio, make sure that it makes sense, because you'll be very surprised that a lot of people, it's not my consensus, it's not my consensus again, so people are not interested, so you've missed your opportunity, so that's number two. Um, number three, I would say is, after you've made sure that your page is on point, that you've got content on there, I would say contact people. Networking is key. I've always said networking is like 80% of the mission of what you're trying to, to, trying to do. It's your strategy. It should be 80% of your strategy. 20% should be your talent. You need to network. You need to make sure that you are in the, on the table with the right people. Push your music everywhere. Send your music to radio presenters. Send your music to a &Rs. Send your music to friends who know people who work in the studio. Send your music everywhere. But I would say that only do that once everything on your page makes sense because people are going to ask you for your handle your artist bio artist bio is another thing having an artist bio so an artist bio is literally just a document with your pictures and a bio of information about yourself how you came into music your musical journey couple press pictures here which means you're gonna have to do a photo shoot but if you're smart you could do that all off a camera and all off of a phone and that is literally what you would send out to people and it should have links to all your um your musical um pages um your spotify page and wherever wherever your streaming platforms are it should have links to all of that your YouTube page if you have that, so then you're ready to go, you're ready to rumble, like you're not here to play no games, <laughs> you're not here to play no games, you're ready to go, you're ready to move and shuffle and move with the movers and the shakers, and I always say to people, stay ready so that you don't have to get ready, this just means you're ready, you're ready to move, so I definitely say that, I would definitely say make sure after everything is making sense and you're good to go send your music out to everybody now it's not everybody that's you're gonna send first time that are gonna pick up your music and you're good to go you understand you might have to send it three four five times you know because you know the dm system is very different you know some it goes into many different files so people might not genuinely message you straight off the bat but that doesn't mean you should give up I would definitely say m keep going, keep grinding, keep sending and if everything is packaged well somebody will pick it up, trust me. I always check my DMs as much as I can and I do kind of filter out those ones that make sense and I know that certain other industry people do the same as well. Things that look good and are ready to go because at the end of the day, and I think I said this to someone, people want things that are already packaged. The worst thing you want is to be noticed by somebody a record label or whatever whatever and then you're you're talented but then they tell you go back and go and fix these things and then come back to me because that more than likely by the time you go back to them there's 15 16 other brothers and sisters out there singing the kuna matada everybody's trying to <laughs> everybody's trying to be seen and heard there's so many people doing music so you need to make sure you kind of jump front start and get to the front of the queue and this is literally what this video is about it's about helping people get to the front of the queue and quickly okay because everybody does music so make sure that your social media is on point make sure that the content on there is making sense and then after that network your ass off network 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 and then i would say after you've done all of that and you've got everything in check i'm trying to think um and you've got your music heard and you've got your music playing on radio and after you've networked essentially the new thing now is to kind of get presenters to kind of give you interviews but you see there's a if you've not packaged yourself all of this thing is not it's not it's not relevant you know it's not important if you if you've not packaged yourself so once you've packaged your stuff and stuff and you've got your music going and have and then, so number, so that was what, one, two, three, number four is have, mu have an array 
of music have a music catalog yeah so i'm assuming by this point of which you've contacted everybody and their father and their son that you have a number of different types of music that you've recorded um and you're ready to go because there's no point and there's nothing more that irks my spirit when artists hit you up and they only have one song and they want they want interviews they want it all they want press galore they want everything and you only have one song you only have one single you only have two singles it's like what we finna do with that <laughs> what we finna do with that like what am i supposed to do with that like i can't even what am i supposed to be comparing the two tracks give us an array of music give us like different different types of music that you record at least five have at least five musics that we can listen to and really get a sense of who you are you know really work on your artistry before you come bombarding people about hear my music play my music play my music like work on your artistry hustle and 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 make it make sense i think a lot of people i i remember i said something like a lot of people don't even want what they pray for because a lot of the time the music i get people are not ready you know i would say that a lot of the artists people are not ready they have not really put the work in to get the results that they're really looking for they want it all now but what are you giving me to work with what am i supposed to be working with here you know your page don't make sense you ain't got no live performances on there you're not you know no things and the thing is it's like it's simple things that you can literally do yourself so for me I would say like I always say to people you don't need someone big to interview you or someone who's interviewed everyone to come and then interview you get a friend take your phone five questions what's your name bam what do you do bam how did you get into music bam fake it till you make it in this context <laughs> fake it till you make it in this content do it so that it looks like somebody has interviewed you and you've got something to show so it's like people can see ah okay and you know what i mean and then people get a sense of who you are um from those little things you have to really be creative to be seen and i think that's what the most important thing is be creative to be seen um and so by the time you're seen it will get into the hands of the right people because a lot of the time there's only so much i can do and this is why this video is so important because there's only so much i can do and there's only so much people i can help before it's like you're gonna have to help yourself here because i cannot continue to like push you and da -da 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 and keep guiding you in this and that and that my dms ugh, i get about 200 dms a day play my music can you play my music can you post my music my music my music you go on people's pages nothing you you like people ain't ready to put the work in so yeah i would say one make sure that your instagram page is making sense make sure that you have the content on there that is associated to you and your music do some performances go live um go on your live and just sing um, sing your heart out make sure that your Instagram page number two make sure that your Instagram page You remove all the good times and all the popping bottles and all the you know selfie pictures They're great But if you want to be taken seriously and if you want to be deemed as a professional it's time to just package yourself well Three once you've done that network push your music send your music to the right people and stop sending your music to the same people send it to every like make it so uh yeah <laughs> so make sure you network send your music to the right people presenters djs um promoters um artist managers artists hey can you you know dm hey can you um check my music out and tell me what you think um and come humble don't don't come like all big and bold and then your music is crap do you understand sit down relax yourself release your muscles make it make sense you know come correct come humble hear my music whatever and 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 yeah and keep sending it because more, most of the time it's gonna take about three four five six dms before anybody essentially hears you and then yeah making sure so that was number four making sure you have an artist bio making sure that you have everything well packaged and, and and good to go 
And then number five, so that was number four. And then number five, I would say, grind. Grind, grind, grind and hustle, man. Easier said than done, but just be creative to get your music out there. Be creative um, and make it make sense. If you know this is what you really want to do and you've done all the stuff that I've kind of mentioned, then be creative and it, it will it will pay off it really really will so these are my tips these are my five kind of tips um i might do a part two if i can think of any more things but these are the essential five that irk my spirit so i was kind of like no i need to do a video about this because i'm getting sick of these dms <laughs> i'm about to get, i'm about to shut my dms off like for real for real because I'm just like, y'all ain't about to kill me with your, with your shit. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. And these are the kind of five major things that I hear a lot of, like, a &Rs, record labels, presenters constantly complain about. So, it just makes sense to kind of get it all. And these are the kind of things that we, we look out for if we're really going to play music on radio and, and stuff like that. Or we're really going to recommend people to people or shout people's names um in meetings or or whatever and really kind of promote people so these are the things we look out for so make sure these things are done um and then hit up the right people and lord knows where it can go man you know the sky's the limit and social media is a powerful tool and that's where a lot of magical things are happening at the moment so make sure that your social media makes sense man so uh, thanks for watching guys um please subscribe to my channel like and comment follow me on instagram and watch all my interviews with all your favorite afrobeat artists and yeah i will be back soon this is your girl christina Kamal and we are